Hey, this is Daniel again, uh, here with Air Quality Done Right. We're here at one of our customers' homes, and we're gonna be doing some cool maintenance, basically on something called a Dectron, which dehumidifies this space that we're in right now, and actually heats this pool up. So we're gonna be doing some maintenance on that. It's quite an old unit, and the customer had issues with it, so we're gonna be fixing it up. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be making sure it's working properly and there's no condensation on these windows because if this unit is ever turned off, you're gonna see this pool gets really cold, the air in the, in the space gets really uh, cold as well and really, really humid and you would have lots of issues, issues with condensation on these windows. So we have to make sure there's proper air circulation, um, there's proper flow to the Dectron, um, we have proper humidity and temperature controls, which are right over here. Right here we have the thermostat and the dehumidistat. Like I was saying before, we need to make sure our humidity in the room is at around 50 to 40 percent. Um, it could be as high as 60, but that you might get condensation on your windows. Um, and the room temperature, it could vary. Um, 72 is, is pretty ideal, so it's not bad. We have a hydronic heating coil downstairs. So here we are in the basement of the pool room, or the home, and I wanna show you the Dectron. So here, here it is, the Dectron or Diatron. So basically what this unit is, it's just a big dehumidifier. And while it dehumidifies, it actually also heats the pool water. It so uses the pool water as a condenser in this case. Um, so what we're going to do now is actually we're actually going to wash the evaporator coil. It's it's this is a custom made unit specifically for this home. Um, so we're going to wash the coil now. What happened with this unit was there actually the compressor was burnt out. What you call it? It was a running burnout. So we had to do an acid cleanup on this unit, remove all of the acid that were in the line set, um, and remove all the old refrigerant in this unit and put brand new refrigerant in. We're using R22 in this refrigerant. I mean, in this unit, it's a little bit phased out now, but it's, it's a lot of units still use R22. So we changed up the compressor on this unit as well. Um, and we put a brand new compressor in and we put it in something called a suction line filter dryer. That's what you use when you have um, a suction or a burnout on a compressor. Um, you could also use flushing material, like flushing kits that you could spray through the lines that clean up the lines, clean up all the acid. But in this case, there's so many coils and there's a lot of depth to this unit that we can't use something like that. So it's harder to use something like that. So we use something called a suction line filter dryer that you could actually open up and you could change the filters inside of it. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're at the final stage of the cleanup. So we've already changed the filters a few times and now we're gonna put something called a felt uh, filter inside that dryer so we don't restrict any pressure um, going into our compressor. So if you come in here, you can see this is the compressor that we changed out. And this is that suction line filter dryer that I was talking about. So this is something we actually put in here to clean up all that refrigerant. And you can see right now it's in line with the suction line of, and then it goes into the compressor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put all of the refrigerant into the receiver. Okay, this is this big tank, almost like a big storage tank right here. The way we do that is we actually close off this line which blocks any flow so all the refrigerant is going to get kind of, kind of stuck into here, into this into this big tank. This is the filter that we're going to be putting in, into, the, uh, into the dryer. So we're taking the cap off on the suction line filter dryer. Um, you know, there's like a big canister here, there's a spring loaded, the big spring here. Um, and this is that filter. This is just a standard pour. Um, we took out the charcoal pour before. You want to use a charcoal, charcoal pour if you're cleaning up an acid situation. Um, so you want to look at the gasket, you want to see if the gasket's damaged. Um, you want to look inside here to see if there's any debris or anything like that any debris that you actually, that you want to clean up. 
So it doesn't look too bad. There's a little bit of stuff in there, but um, we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna make sure it looks nice. Okay, so here's that felt filter that we're gonna put in now. This is the final stage of filtration. Now we're gonna stick this back in. Then you're gonna put the spring here. Um, so the spring kind of spring loads this and makes sure it's a really nice and tight seal. Slides right in. Sits right there. And then this cap is gonna go right back on. You wanna make sure the gasket lines up with the seal. Okay, so Ryan over here is cleaning the evaporator coil with some water. Um, we sprayed it with a little bit of evaporator coil cleaning, but not too much of that. I don't like that too much. Um, but spraying with water, cleaning the coil to improve that suction pressure like I was talking about earlier. Dectron is off for about 10 minutes. Normally there should be a cover over this pool when you're doing any repairs, so it prevents any moisture from leaving out. They don't have a cover. So you see condensation on the windows almost instantly, you see here. Almost instantly we have condensation on these windows because that unit's off and we're doing some repairs on it. Also, another important thing is you want a negative pressure in these dry tron or these pool rooms um, because any moisture um, will actually push out against the walls and will actually go into the walls and then go into the rest of the house and you get chlorine smell into the rest of the home and moisture, really humid air going to the rest of the home as well. Um, so you always need a proper exhaust fan in these rooms, exhausting air, creating a negative pressure. But I know, but the pool wasn't working at first, but air quality the other I came in and made it all good. Still a little foggy in here, but that's because they're still fixing some shit up. <laughs> fixing the dehumidifying unit in the pool room. Signing off, Dan H. Man. <laughs>